We're all familiar with how important the change is from hard drives to SSD, and then within that, the changes in SSD technology from SATA to NVMe. We started off with SATA because that's the form factor that a hard drive took. We essentially swapped out the internals, the mechanicals, for flash technology, so solid state drives. We still spoke to the CPU though as if the flash were a hard drive, so in a SATA language, and over a SATA bus, which is a single lane that went up to about 550 megabytes a second. The problem is the flash technology got much faster, and so did the CPUs. So we had to move to a new bus or a new interface, and that's PCI Express. You'll know that from graphics cards or add-in cards. Each lane on PCI Express can be up to a thousand megabytes a second. So each link is essentially twice as fast as the old SATA bus. Normally in SSDs, we use about four lanes. So potential bandwidth of up to 4,000 megabytes a second. What's also important is so we have a higher speed bus, so you've moved from country roads to uh, multiple autobahn lanes. We also change the protocol. So instead of talking to flash as if it were a hard drive, which is very suboptimal and also talking to it what's through what's called a host bus adapter, so translating all the commands, PCIe is direct to the CPU and there's a new language specifically for Flash called NVMe, so non-volatile memory express. The two terms NVMe and PCI Express are usually interchangeable, but PCI Express is the physical link and NVMe is the protocol or the language that's used. So where does NVMe come into play? If you look on your internal machines, you have the chance now to upgrade to an SSD that's a hell of a lot faster. So if SATA is about 550 megabytes a second, an NVMe SSD allows you to get anywhere from 2,400 on a mainstream NVMe SSD up to about 3,500 on a higher end performance NVMe SSD. So this allows you to do a couple of things. On your notebooks, you're going to get significantly faster boot times and load times and responsiveness from your applications. If you're looking at a desktop, what you can do is tiered storage. So you could boot off an NVMe drive uh, and then you could have a secondary SATA drive, which is going to take uh, what you call your warm storage. So content that you access quite frequently. And then you can have a third tier, which would be a hard drive where you keep your library of assets or you could have multiple hard drives in a RAID to give yourself some redundancy. So that shows how you can use it in a notebook and a desktop scenario. What's important then is the emergence of portable storage and NVMe usage there. So if you look at, for example, our G Drive Mobile, this is based on a SATA drive. It's still very fast at 550, hyper rugged and IP protected in case you drop it in a puddle. Then we moved on to NVMe. So in our SanDisk range, we have the SanDisk Extreme Pro, for example, which is an NVMe drive running over USB-C. Now that's allowing you to get up to 1000 megabytes a second. In the WD Black family, we have a new entrant into the USB-C uh, range where you've uh, USB-C, but it's two by two, which allows you up to 2000 megabytes a second. So that shows you kind of where that USB interface is going over time. And at the very high end on the G Drive Mobile Pro, that's Thunderbolt based, which is ideal for getting the maximum out of those SSDs. So if you remember internally, an NVMe drive can go up to three and a half thousand megabytes a second. So you're constrained by the interface. So with a Thunderbolt SSD, you can get up to 2,800 megabytes a second. So as well as NVMe appearing in your notebooks, desktops, and portable storage, it's also higher up the chain in data centers in your servers. So the same tiered storage concept where you've got NVMe at the front end dealing for those fast transactions and inquiries, then maybe some SATA drives in the middle for warm storage, and then at the back end you've got cold storage on high capacity hard drives. So hard drives are not going away anytime soon, it's all about uh, combining your storage to best meet your needs.